Hey guys, what's up? And I'm gonna show you how to homebrew your 3DS for the 11.0 version's new 3DS and regular 3DS as well as 2DS. 2DS and 3DS are the same thing. New 3DS, it's a different file, but same steps. Hold up, let me move my microphone a little bit more over here. Cause I have it kind of far away. All right, so. It's up and running, and when it come to this website, smilam.jhub, I'm going to the link to the description. We're going to come to this page, the Homebrew Launcher, and we're going to open up web browser. I want to click on this page, and this link, Yellow's 8 browser hacks page. So, all you got to do, you don't need no game, no power saves or nothing like that. All you need is to download the starter kit to your SD card. And I already tried it on my other two 3DSs, but not the one with the capture card. So just want to try it out and see if it worked. So I worked on my new 3DS XL and on my 3DS XL, which is the old 3DS. All right, so we're gonna want to um, download the homebrew starter kit and make sure you have a SD card reader so you could put your SD card in your computer and as you can see this is the QR code that we're gonna be scanning it all right let's get started so I'm gonna download the starter kit and the starter kit it's gonna be right here we're gonna download it I need to download it because I do not have the latest update on my on my screen capture 3ds all right so my SD card it's in my computer already oh, before the, before this let me open my want to make sure my device is running do I, do I have the okay I want to make sure my capture card is running. Hmm, weird. Crap, hold up, guys. Give me a second. Okay, it was unplugged. Let me plug it back in. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's go. Let's go back to the page. So I downloaded the Homebrew Starter Kit, and I usually download all my files to a download folder. So I'm gonna go to my Documents where I have my Homebrew Starter Kit downloaded. So here it is, and these are you'll see these three um, these three files right here. So that you have the 3ds folder themes and boot.3dsx all right perfect now we're gonna open up your SD card from the from your 3ds all right uh, where's my comp all right all right my SD card is located here and I'm just gonna drag these three files here And I'm gonna replace them all. Since I already have, since I already have these files there, it just pretty much replaces them with their newer update compatible with the latest homebrew software. All right, I'm gonna close this. Now I'm gonna restart my 3DS. Crap. I'm gonna restart it just because that way the SD card files can be loaded properly. Okay, and just come back to the page over here. Nothing, fool. All 
All right. So come back to the browser and you're gonna see this QR code right here. Okay. And we're gonna press L and R together and it should activate the camera. And now we're gonna... Okay, what happened? Okay. I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get the cable over here, but it's too short. Alright, hopefully it reaches. Alright. Perfect. So now you can see. Sorry about that. Now you can see this URL found. And just press A. And we're gonna launch the browser. And you're gonna see this weird, this weird colors popping up in the bottom screen. All right, just give it some time. And that's it, guys. Homebrew launcher is working, and that's it. So hopefully this tutorial was very helpful. And other than that, if you want to support my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or the next video, whatever I have planned. All right, guys, have a good one and good night.